so I decided I didn't like it. It's not dark enough. It looks good in the shadows, but I don't like what it looks like in the sunshine. So we're going darker. Five, four, three, two, one. Only is go. but I'm going to paint over the enamel and it's going to make the paint wrinkle and carry on because enamel and acrylic don't like each other and then when I do the patina again you'll see that riding underneath this coat of paint which looks pretty good. <laughs> a thousand times better now. That's what it looked like in the shade before. It's going to look darker in the shade now, but that's the look I wanted. So, I can change my mind. I might change it again yet. Hour and a half to do that. That's including preparation. Um, I might paint it yellow. Canary banana. I can hear you all going on. Paulie, we told you in the last video, you need to wear a mask when you're painting. Yeah, I know, I need to wear a mask. Um, that video hasn't been published yet. It's um, probably a few weeks away before you guys even see that and it's probably only three days since I painted it. So there's going to be another week until you see this video. I'm well ahead of what you guys are seeing. So anyway, I'll take your advice and I'll go and buy a mask, alright? I know that you should be telling me to do that. So there you go, all together. Probably two and a half hours work from stripping it down, cleaning it, prepping it, painting it and putting it back together including throwing stones at my grill shell. It's just started to rain, so it's the uh, perfect timing. It even still <laughs> looks lighter on camera than it really is, but that's the colour I wanted. It looked that colour in the shade, but as soon as it got in the light, it just really blew up. Like the, It just exploded with colour, and I didn't like it. It was too light. So I'm heaps happier now. And I painted inside the cab too, so I can start working on my interior ideas. I'm just going to give these doors a rub over so we can see the, um, the sign writing. So the whole car is going to go through that whole patina process again, but I'm not going to put you through that. I don't want you to terrify you one more time seeing myself on fire. But I just want to show you this. I'm just using 1000 on the top coat. The whole car will get eventually thousand and bust and all that kind of stuff again so there's three coats over the top of this so it's going to take a little bit but because it wrinkled up it's sitting proud and I want it to look like it's underneath the paint here it comes so it looks like it's been painted over it's an old service truck that got turned in a little hot rod or whatever who knows? They evolve, they get painted millions of times, these things. These doors have probably both got about 10 coats of paint on them with all the years that they've been painted over. I 
think this door was originally like a olive drab, like a gloss olive drab that they came out in. I think it was red, it was yellow, uh, in primer, then I painted it black, no, I painted it blue, then I painted it black, and then I painted it that lighter colour, then this darker colour, so it's been through a few variations. I don't want to go too heavy because I don't want to bring too much of that light blue through. Starting to see that now. Probably can't see it on camera well, but I can see it. Leave a bit of mystery to it. coming through, the lettering coming through, some of the writing down there coming through, and I'm not going to overdo it, it'll naturally come through as I work on this and polish it and buff it. And the cool thing is underneath underneath the, the Ford there, you can see the lighter blue, it's going to give it a really good effect. And when this is all buffed up it's going to pop, it's going to look really nice. But anyway, I just wanted to give you that little update, short video on um, a quick respray. It uh, certainly looks the part now, I'm really happy with that. I say that all the time, but it was annoying me, that other colour. It was just every time I take it outside and I take it, even a photo of it, I was just like, that's not what it looks like. Um, now, it does look like that original grill photo that I showed you that was in my living room. Anyway, that's it from me. Hope you like that. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.